hi here we will see how to export uh, uh, near field data from uh, HFS simulation this near field data we can use it for uh, as an excitation to another simulation through external file or it can be used for uh, SAR simulations for uh, taking the antenna uh, pointing vector and using that as a source for uh, um, SAR simulations okay so first what you need to do is you have to complete the simulations so you you can see an app patch antenna over here and uh, you will be able to see what is s parameter and what is the gain of this antennas all together and over here you can see there are two kind of a sheep one for uh, far field uh, points another for s parameter this is an interpolating sheep still now we have option to pull out the fields also with the interpolations so in order to plot the uh, near field data what you need to do is uh, let's assume i wanted to see the near field at 5 centimeter above this antenna plane so first of all you need to create a you need to create a one uh, plane uh, or a coordinate system above 5 centimeter so just have to click here and uh, just click at the center itself and then you can edit it so put it, this as a 5 centimeter okay now the coordinate is created what you need to do here is uh, I think I already created some data let me remove it from here so I have created a coordinate which I already have one more coordinate at the same location what you can do is uh, just go here create a near field setup you have option to plot, create a line rectangle box or sphere where uh, this box is available only with the 2020 r2 which is going to release on uh, this year june july time so you will get a line rectangle sphere option so select a rectangle uh, option and instead of uh, global coordinate you can select a coordinate which is created at a 5 centimeter height make sure if you want to export some near field it should be always in xy plane otherwise you need to rotate the coordinate and you can say this is 5 centimeter above the above the antenna so here you can specify how much space you wanted to export it let's say 30 centimeter means 15 centimeter in minus x direction 50 centimeter in plus x direction I want uh, 61 points here and similarly uh, here also uh, 30 and 61 points so the number of points which is going to extract it will be displayed here if you click this point uh, okay so this is XY point which is going to take that field so once you done what you need to do is right click on the uh, right click on the result go to near field data go to rectangular contour plot there you have option to plot uh, near e total phi theta ex cy ez rhcp all the quantity so let's plot e total and we can select that as a db and click new report so make sure you have the selection of 5 centimeter under this okay and click uh, uh, Okay, you have one more option. If you select a far field sweep which has multiple frequency data, you can select any frequency which you want to would like to plot it. Okay, any frequency you select it and click new report. Yeah, now you are getting the plots ready. So this is something like a contour plot. You can change that into different plot condition by right clicking here, go to modify go to contour and instead of a line you can select to fringe or something and click apply and you have option to change the scale of this uh, color pattern if you would like to see it so this is a pattern which is you are going to get it at uh, 5 centimeter above the antenna so if you want to see it in the modular window right click and show the modular window you can go back to the design and you'll be able to see this is how the near field looks like at 5 centimeter so this is above the computation domain still you are going to get the uh, fields and 
let's say if I want to export this as an external data so you have option right click and export it uh, and uh, usually uh, HFSS data will looks like a dot in FD format near field data format you can export it by right clicking here go to compute max parameter so you have to right click that uh, near field setup and compute max parameter once you right click it will open that window now you can see uh, you can select uh, uh, different solutions so we have a sweep s parameter last adaptive if you select this one and then you have option to select a multiple frequency if you want to export it it has a multiple uh, lot of data that may be the reason this simulation is a little slow so if you want to export multiple frequency you can select all the frequency or else you can select uh, the required frequency points let's say 2.4 and 2.3 i'm selecting click ok then there is an option then there is an option export field click on the export field and it will ask to export in a csv format or near field data format and you can export it wherever you want click, click save option uh, and there is one more thing you can export not only the E field quantity, H field quantity also able to export it. Otherwise you can export the pointing vector. So multiple options are there for you.